why not? When you've allowed the piece of a well-meaning influence to forget everyone out of your life. I'm trying my best to avoid any court on campus. Oh. There won't be no war that I don't start. Oh yeah? Oh yes. Come here. <laughs> I know you have missed me. Mm -hmm. Oh? Same. Oh. 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 never issues a warning twice. I don't share my boyfriend with anyone, much less a mean, livered vampire. Queen of the battles. <laughs> Bitch. Honestly, Princess, this fashion war between us and the vampires is really stretching me dry. I don't think I can continue changing my wardrobe every week. Hey, you better don't allow BB here you say that. You better don't allow people to hear what you just said. Look at this girl though. Everyone on this campus knows that the bats are the well-dressed babes. You were well informed of that on initiation day, weren't you? So better don't allow people to hear that. I know. But changing clothes every week costs a lot of money. Huh? I am not from a wealthy family and you know it. Who is? Kala, who is? Do you know your problem? No, do you know your problem? You give yourself so cheaply to those small, small boys on campus. Instead of hanging out with the real men, flowing with milk and honey, you prefer to give yourself to those cheap boyfriends on hey, campus. Hey, hey, stop it. It is this prostitution aspect that I don't like. I joined Bad Confraternity just for protection and that's all. Just be kidnapped. Jeez, see what they've done to her. Queen Mother, she's still breathing. We have to take her to the hospital first. The vampires have just invited us for a blood dance.
Uh, here. Check. That's what I want. Is that all, sir? Yeah, that's all. So, what about the one in your pocket? What do you mean by that? This is what I want. Look at it. How much is it? Three fifty. So, uh, pack it up. Could you stop pretending and bring out the one in your pocket, sir? Hey, 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 man! What is your stress? Are you trying to embarrass me? This is what I just picked from here, and that's what I'm buying. What are you talking about? Talking about embarrassment. I'm going to give you one if you don't bring out the one in your pocket. What? Hey, hey, hey! Look, I'm gonna hit you real bad now if you just. What is wrong with you? What is this? I, I don't know. This is what I, I, I picked. How, how did this get into your pocket? Um, hey, 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 hey! Come on, take it easy. I'm sorry, I put it in his pockets. Yeah, um, sorry about that, sorry about that. This is your money, okay? Boy, I saw you put it into his pocket. You, you didn't, what man. You Stop saying this. I just told you I put it in his pocket. He's my cousin. I was trying to give him a belated birthday present. What's wrong with that? A surprise is bad in this country anymore. Come on, young lady. This could be dangerous. It could get you into trouble. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really very sorry, but it's my fault, like I said. Okay? What you saw, what you think you saw, you didn't say. It's my fault. I put it in his pocket. So please, um... Uh... Tonya, this is risky, you know? You will put me in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah? Yes. Like I said, I just wanted to give you a belated birthday present since I didn't give you last year. Uh... Can we go? She has paid, hasn't she? You know what? I don't know what game you both are up to. But you better leave my shop right now before I call the police. Oh, please stop shouting. Talking about leaving ah. your shop, you have to pack my things into my bag please. and you have my change so you can keep Pack all these stuff. things. Pack, ah. pack them. Uh -uh. What's your problem? Talk you, right? Stop making noise, my friend. Do you think everybody is a thief? Huh? You just keep accusing people. I will never come here to buy anything in my life again. Nonsense. Rubbish shop. What do you even sell? I sell nothing. I still have the. I don't have time. Alright, thank you very much. Okay. Leave my shop, please. Before you steal another one. Leave! <laughs> Ah, that was a brave risk he took in there for a stranger. And that was a very stupid stunt he pulled out there. Uh, hey, trust me, I would have easily taken care of it myself. You should be ashamed of yourself. Very ashamed of yourself. I mean, just an ordinary cheap perfume. My God, that's really, 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 really embarrassing. Uh, uh, all right, you've made your point. But, uh, look, I acted stupidly, okay? But believe me, I'm not a thief. <laughs> of course you're not. But you've just proven that in there. Uh, anyway, thanks for saving my neck. Uh, I'm a drain. And you? Not important. Come on, baby. I just said that you've made your point. So, uh, right now I don't have any cash on me, but if you can give me your address, I'll come first thing tomorrow morning to refund your cash. I promise. <laughs> I must be very stupid to give such a guy like you my address. And you look too clean for this sort of thing, don't you think? Nin, have some respect for yourself. Thanks, thanks, thanks again. <laughs> uh, can I drop you off? No thanks, um, I'll be going now. Bye. And um, please do yourself a favor. It's not shoplift again. It's actually called self-esteem. Bye. Right. <laughs> it's nice meeting you. <laughs> Papin.
How many times have I warned you against leaving this house alone without a driver? Daddy, I just went to the supermarket to buy some stuff. So I, I didn't go far. Shut up. When I ask a simple question, I need a simple answer. My driver is not feeling well. I didn't want to stress him. Stupid excuse. You should have called to let me know what you wanted. Or tell your mother to get them for you. I'm sorry, Dad. You better be sorry for yourself. And don't try it again next time with me. This is how you leave this house to go sneaking around with those useless men down. Dad! Shut up! And you are grounded for one week. Now get inside the room. My dear, that girl needs a break. She's grown up for God's sake. Oh, really? Yes. A break to sneak around to mess up with those boys in town? But you don't know that for sure. Fiona has proven herself responsible so far. Why not allow the right upbringing we have given her to get her to life, please? I hear no more of such nonsense talk. She remains grounded. And I expect my orders to be complied with to the latter. Drew the first blood, Bibi. I hold whatever that belongs to me close to my heart. So you tell your flies never to hover around my man. Arrogant bitch. You have no respect for the finger that fed you. I warned you, Bibi. I warned you when you revolted against my authority and divided the mother confraternity. It's time to settle old scores. <laughs> Admit it, Dwayne. Admit what? Admit it! You were jealous of me. Jealous of the bats. Because we've grown bigger Flashier and more deadly than your chicken hearted vampires. You see, we are not of the same class. You're so dead. By the time this night is over, we will know who is more deadlier your bats or my vampires. Bibi is not afraid of death, my dear. Not at all. You and your flies and no more alive than a dead rat! I can assure you, you will not live to see the sunrise. Really. Sorry to get crashed into your picnic, girls. Adrian, this is not your fight, please. This is not for you and the Pythons. You girls have crossed this campus sleepless nights for days now. Someone has to call you to order. Adrian, please. I have waited for so long to teach this egocentric bitch a lesson. Oh, you shut the fuck up. You can just walk in here and spoil the fun for me. Okay? Well then, you will have to shoot you me first if you must assert your blood test, Dwayne. This campus is getting too small for all of us. Take your girls and scrap. You watch your back! Don't look back! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I'm glad I came on time. Oh no. You came at the wrong time. Because you would have given me so much time to give her the greatest humiliation of her life. I know that you can take care of yourself. But I needed to be sure. You know what? We have to leave here now, okay? Huh? Girls! Homies! I heard about your little showdown on campus. You heard. Yet you sat back and did nothing to give me cover. You ignored my advice not to let your emotion run wild over baby. As long as she and her bats have the cover of the pythons, she remains a shadow that cannot be touched. <laughs> Danny. Tell me, who runs things on this campus? Hmm? You or Adrian? I mean, the ashes have become so weak. I mean, the Pythons lord over everybody. I wish you knew what's coming, honey. Soon, the gushing wind shall blow Adrian and his Pythons off the surface of this campus. Wait, tell me something. Are you planning a storm? No questions, honey. Just keep your eyes open. When the storm is over, you can have baby <coughs> for means mates. Mm -hmm. hmm? I like the sound of that. So, you give me some, you know? <laughs> You needed to have seen me. I had my heart in my mouth. Oh my god, I was scared stiff. Believe me, I was. But that was very risky. What if everything had gone out of hands and he turns around to deny you? What would have happened? Honestly, Zina, I wasn't thinking. I just couldn't, you know, I just couldn't resist the thrill. Oh god, it was such an adventure. Zina, sincerely, you know all these stories we read about all those big babes going to shoplift abroad? It was exactly the same feeling I had, like I was reading a book. <laughs> that was very stupid. Mm. Fine, I had meat for Zainab. I really needed to have saved that guy's neck. God, Zainab, she needed to have saved him. He was so cute. I said, you understand? Oh. Yeah? Jeez. You're beginning to confess it. You fell in love with a thief. No, no. Zainab! See that you know I'm not into guy stuff. My father will kill me. At least this is when you now put the knife there like. <laughs> you don't know him. Welcome, sir. Welcome, Daddy. You went cold suddenly. I presume you were gossiping. Gossiping? How about Daddy? Gossip? Can gossip now? We just, we're just talking. Zainab. Sir. I allowed you all these years to associate with my daughter. Because you're intelligent and you're in the university. So I expect to influence her life positively. Alright? Yes, sir. But daddy, I just finished writing jam. I'll soon be in school. God save you if you don't pass out the exam. Or better still watch a movie. 
Mom, why does Dad constantly treat me like a prisoner? Why? You are not a prisoner, my dear. Your dad is only trying to protect you in his own way. Protect me? Yes. Mom, you said protect me. I can't even mix up with my mates. I can't even go for parties, Mom. Just look at me. I can't even wear the clothes that I desire to wear. Don't speak like that, my dear. Look at the bright side of life. Your dad has always provided you with everything a child could ever ask for or need. You went to the best primary and secondary school with a shovel driven car of your own. Tell me, Fiona, how many girls of your age have such privileges? Great, mom. Great. And I will tell you, because those privileges are making me miserable as each day passes by. Mom, just look at me. I'm grounded because I went to the supermarket to buy stuff that I need for myself. My prayer for you is to pass jam exam and gain admission into the university. I'm sure that will get him off your back a little. Believe me, Mom. If I do not get into the university this year, I will run away from this house because I'm tired. I will run away. She see that I'm busy. We have to live here now. Why? Capone, the axes are coming after you. What? We have to leave Capone. <laughs> Atula, our foes must fall. Forgiveness is a sin. I want the entire Ashes confraternity wiped out from the face of this campus. Find them. Comb every hole dug by even a rat. Their supreme commander. I want him alive. By the venom of the python. By the venom of the python. By the venom of a python. By the venom of the python. You should bury your rotting head in your mother's anus in shame for failing this brotherhood in a simple assignment. I'm sorry, Supreme Commander. Please forgive me. Forgive me. Need I remind you that excuses on failure are the worst crimes in this brotherhood. You must face the penalty. You know I have served this noble family with my whole life. I beg of you. Give me a second chance to redeem my image, and I promise you, I will definitely get a drug. Too late! 
you take over command of the strike force dre yes commander yes the pythons are spoiling for a counter strike and more heads are definitely going to roll commander please let's not be caught off guard the line is drawn it's either Adrian's head or mine. This supremacy battle with the Pythons on campus must be settled once and for all. I shall rally the Arches, Commander. Do me a favor. Go out of sight and leave everything to me. You missed your first assignments. Overwork yourself. You'll we'll get him. Huh? We? Yeah. The Python's war is also the bats, remember? Stay out of this. You and your girls. This war is strictly for the Pythons. Look, when Dan falls, which I know that I must fall him, this school will be on fire. And believe me, the raging heat will be too hot for you girls. Honey, why do you underrate the bats so much? Why? Don't they say hell knows no fury like a woman scorned? I have been scorned. And any flame that touches you, touches Bibi personally. Bibi, your bat's confraternity is protected by the pythons. And not the other way around. I say, stay clear. In short, take a break. Leave the school for a while. Go on a vacation anywhere you want. But stay out of the school for a while. You feel me? I know this is your war. And I don't intend to steal the glory from you. All I am asking is that we lend our feminine strength. And trust me, my girls will locate Dan's hideout and lure him out. How many times have we done it for the Pythons? It's not a big deal. I know. Okay. Hey. Now, it's time to suit those raging nerves. Okay? Come here. Okay, he's coming now. All right, I, I can see him now. I can see him now. Okay, bye. Hi, Stella. Hi. Hi. Don't tell me two pretty girls like you are stranded. We're in the short of tea fair. Can you please help us with the leave downtown? It's okay, hop in. I can do some company. Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Thanks. I'm Dan. I'm Sharon. I'm JC. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Same here. My pleasure. Three 
pretty smart, Adrian. I should have known this was a trap by you and your harem of prostitutes. Get out! Out! <laughs> Get down! The fear of pretty babes is the beginning of wisdom. You should have learned that rule. <laughs> Too bad you didn't. You started a fire that you cannot control. And that same fire is about to consume you now. Right now. Forgiveness is a sin. By the venom of the python, my man is right. Atula, Atula. <laughs> Bibi, this is your game, girl. Good job, princess. From now on, you are my second in command. Thank you, Queen Mother. Oh, 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 Their offenses are grievous. They include murders. I really don't intend to let them get away with this slightly, sir. We need to curb the menace of cultism on the university campuses. All right, sir. I will carry out your instructions. But I want it on record that I vehemently registered my objections, sir. I really don't know why the Inspector General of Police is letting you to get away with such grievous crimes. Even the police can't know everything, Mr. Commissioner. DPO, I want you to release the cultists in your custody. Yes, it's an order from the Inspector General of Police. I haven't asked you to leave. You don't have to. We need not to be bored any further, if you don't mind. Hello, mommy. 
Oh, Hi, Dad. Oh, my God. Oh, 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 my God. 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 my God. my God. Why have you allowed the devil to take over the heart of our children of nowadays? Parents struggle to send them to school. Instead of them settling down, studying their books, but they prefer joining bad gangs and cause problems here and there for everyone around them. There's so much darkness hovering above the clouds. We need serious prayer intercession in this country. Yes, mm, that. This time, it was bloody. Really? Lives were lost. Jesus! So many students were wounded and they are now hospitalized. You know, it's all over the news. Ah. Your mommy and I have been very busy with church activities. We don't have time for the news. Yes. Besides, there are two forms of demonic reports that put out the spirit. Thank God you are you arrived safely, my dear. I know I serve a living God. A true God. Yes. The God that will never let me down. And he will always see my son true. Mom, there is nothing to panic about. I will survive. I mind my business in school. I don't get on anyone's way. In fact, my Bible has always been my companion. And I'm always in fellowship. Right now, I'm one of the ushers in my fellowship. I don't have time for such things. And you always say that do not be equally yoked with unbelievers. Exactly, my so son. So I don't mix with them. I don't have time for them. Yes, thank you. Uh, seems you're going out. Yes. Uh, so we need a part assignments. Where is Alice? Alice is not at home right now. Where well, Bishop uh, is dressing for her, and she will be spending two weeks. Exactly. Hmm? You know how fond of her the wife is. I'm really going to miss her. I you just know. Have to you just go upstairs, freshen up. Then the steward will take care of you, okay? It's all right, Mom. We'll soon be back. Take care of yourself. All right. Hi. You have a nice How day. Are you? Mom, I guess you have my favorite in the kitchen. Yes! <laughs> I would not spend one more year in this house. I worked very hard for my admission and I'm going to school. Why is it that you don't want to understand, Fiona? We cannot afford to allow you to attend that dangerous school. Over five people died in that school last semester. Those are cold boys, mom. Cold boys. Not normal people. Zainab has been in that school for three years now and no evil has befallen her. Why is my own different, mom? Why is it different? Uh, don't front Zainab with this issue, young lady. The truth is that the schools here are no longer safe. That's why I've been striving to secure an admission for you in a decent university abroad. Yes. But you wouldn't understand. No way, Dad. No way. I wanted to school abroad. But you insisted that I school here just so that you can keep an eye on your only daughter. So you can constantly imprison me like you always do. You are frustrated and I'm tired of it and I'm leaving. Okay. Make no mistakes about it. I will not spend my money on your school fees if you insist on endangering your life in that school. That's all you can do, Dad. But you will no longer chain me to this house again. Can I have a car key? Can I? This is my car, Dad. You got it for me. And I'm going to keep it. Fiona, please drop the car keys. You know your driving is still shaking. Mom, please stay out of this. Please. Good. 
Zainab, your parents are not rich. So how did you get the money to acquire this place and even touch it up like this? Well, you know, this is cool. And it's easy for students to get help from here and there. But let's not worry about that. Let's worry more about you. Whoa. Now that your father has turned his back on you, how do you intend to pay your school fees? <sighs> My dear, I have a little savings here and there that can take me for a while. But believe me, after then, I don't know. I really hope your father changes his mind soon. <laughs> my father. Look, Zena, I know my father so well. If I did not stand up to my father the way I stood up to him today, I would have still been a perpetual prisoner in that house. That I'm very sure of. Look, I'm just here to face my studies and finish in good time. That's all. God, I just hope that I haven't forgotten my admission letter at home. Because huh? I, I packed up in a hurry. Huh. You just better be here because... Oh! Oh my God. Thank God. Your friend. Hey! Did you visit Gucci or St. Lauren? Man, these clothes are BAM! You sure want to turn this school upside down? Zainab, let me turn the school upside down. Don't I deserve it? Look, do you know for how long I've been secretly acquiring all this? So at last I can wear the clothes that I really desire. Let me see. Please keep them. You still see them. Let me admire them now. But I'm, I'm still going to wear them. Okay, okay. Ah. Let's go, Italy. Let me see. This is really nice. Thank you. Come on, come on. Bring it to me. <coughs> Hey, Fiona. Come this way. Come this way. Hi. Mm -hmm. Congratulations on your coronation. I mean, there is nobody who deserves the post of the Supreme Commander like you. Thanks. Let's go straight to the brass tag. I'm a very busy person if you don't mind. Ooh, you seem itchy. To the point, Dwayne. Uh, well, I, I would like to know how you plan on avenging the death of your former Supreme Commander. I can't recall when the vampire's frat being an affiliate of the ashes that I will reveal our plans to you. I mean, you don't intend to let the pythons get away with it, do you? Listen, I've never liked the way you and BB carry on with the battle of supremacy on this campus. And I'll not allow you to lure the ashes into another personal, senseless battle like we did with my predecessor. What is important to me now is to build a stronger and more formidable force. Trust me. When I'm ready for Adrian and the Pythons on this campus, I won't need your prompting. So you seek your ally elsewhere, okay? Please, I'm looking for the direction to Resh's office, please. I'm I just, I don't know my way around. I just need directions, that's all. Are you silly or just plain stupid? No. She's so dumb that she doesn't know she has to ask questions about the kind of people she can just walk up to and ask her stupid questions. I mean no harm. I'm just asking for directions. Hey. Shh! Scrump. You bad boy. Just... Girl, did you see that? That girl is pretty. Man, that chick smells well deep. Ah! I've not perceived that kind of perfume on anybody on this campus. I swear to God, I haven't. A potential bat, if you ask me. But let's just hope she's got the liver. Don't 
to blow the hell is this? Are you out of your mind? Come down! Come down from the car! God, I'm so I'm so sorry. I'm I'm really sorry. I hope I didn't hurt you. I'm so sorry. I can't believe this! It is you! The mystery lady from the supermarket. Oh my god, you wanted to kill me? Oh no, I'm sorry. Believe me, I am sorry. I didn't do it intentionally. It's just that my driving is still a little bit shaky. Ah, uh, forget about the driving. Ah, this is a wonderful surprise. Good to see you again. So, uh, what are you doing here? Um, I'm a fresher computer science department. Ah, jam by, huh? <laughs> That's great. That's very nice. I'm in my final year, geology. So, uh, once again, can I get to know your name now? Nope. Um, I'm in a hurry to get to the Students Affairs Department to complete the formality for my registration. And once again, please, I'm really sorry for, for, for this. I'm really sorry. Bye. I'm, uh, by we can still know each other's I told you about at the supermarket some six months ago. Which supermarkets? I can't recollect. Come on, Zainab, the very handsome, sleek looking guy I told you shoplifted. Oh, oh! <laughs> you mean he's in this school? My surprise. He said he's a final year student of geology. Can you imagine that? Final year geology. What's that his name again? Um. I can't remember, you know, I didn't want him to, to know that I was so excited seeing him, so I deliberately did not ask him for it. Oh, my God. Mm. My God, no God really saved me. What? Thank God I was driving at a reasonable speed. If not, I would have really injured that guy badly, or worse, killed him. You sound really excited, girl. Yes, I am very excited. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought I was never going to see him again. Oh my god, Zinab, you really have to see this guy. God, he is so, 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 so. Oh, god, this guy is so handsome. Zinab, you really need to see him. Oh, you really have to be careful, though. You see, most guys on this campus are hit and run engines, especially to jam bites like you. I mean, first year students. They tell 20 jam bites the same thing at the same time, just to sleep with them. And when they are done, they start all over again with a new set of jam bites next session. You see? Hello? Mm -hmm. Did I say that I have something or anything whatsoever to do with this guy? No! It's just that I like him. And no, but you know I haven't had a boyfriend all my life. I mean, I know. I just want you to be very careful. Okay? Okay, school mother. School oh, mother. Please. <laughs> so, how was the day at school today? Oh, it was good. Yes, I forgot. What? I met this set of girls and I was trying to ask them for the registrar's office and God, you needed to see the way they snubbed me like I was nothing. <laughs> oh, is that, is that the way every girl on this campus behaves? <laughs> it's okay. It's normal. It's because you're new. Don't worry. You can't no, you know what? I hate embarrassment. Mm. Really? God. You know, I just kept quiet because, like you said, I am a jamba. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm just going to the kitchen oh and get yourself God. some food. I'm so, so tired. Oh. Come 
Amin. How did you find me? Well, uh, it is my devoted duty to find out about people and places of interest. Hmm. My old man. This place is nice. Are you sure you're a student? Hmm? Um, thank you very much. This place actually belongs to my friend. Your friend? Yes, my friend. Oh. Well, girl, you have to be careful the kind of babes you keep as company on campus. A lot of them can be bad influence. What do you mean? Do you know her? Uh, just a friendly advice, okay? Anyway, I came to ask you out for dinner. Um, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't think that's possible. Oh, come on, Fiona. Stop avoiding me like a plague. Look, at least give me the opportunity to properly say thank you for the other day. Remember, I still owe you. I see. You've already found out my name. The easiest of assignments. Um... I would really appreciate it if you don't ever say you owe me a favor again. And even if I decide to go out on a dinner date with you, it will be out of my free will, not because you think you owe me a favor. Okay. Uh, do I take it that you accept? Seven o'clock then. I'll be back to pick you up. Her name is Fiona Ibuka, 100 level student, computer science department, and I hear her father is a big business tycoon. Tell me what I don't already know. She's a vampire in the waiting. Whispers are there, they are keeping a close watch on her. Are you certain of this? Does my queen mother now doubt my sniffing potentials? Not at all. You know, you've proven to be the best. We must get that girl before the vampires do. You get Cheryl and set to work on her. Okay. Very well then. Take care. I'm so sorry about the way myself and my friend acted the other day. No, we felt remorse and thought we could make things up with it. <laughs> I hate snobs. If you don't mind, I'm in a hurry. Hey, I'm just trying to be a friend. I think you're trying too hard for my liking. Look, I know you're new in this school. Why don't we get together sometime? Have a good time. You, me, my friends. You know, you watch my back, I watch yours. Things like that. <laughs> Excuse me. I choose my friends. 
and that's the other way around. Seem popular then. Listen, Andrew is bad news. A chronic womanizer. I like him. Zainab. I've always liked him right from the first time I set my eyes on him. Listen, Madam Jambait. I've been in this school long enough to know exactly what I'm talking about. Andrew is a bad case. You can't get him. Why? Because he sees other women? I can live with that. It's about who shows him much love that would he will come to. Can't you get it? Huh? Are you out of your mind? Andrew is not just every girl's dream man on campus. He's also deadly and dangerous. Bibi has been the only girl who has managed to team him thus far. And I bet you, girl, <clears throat> she's one hell of a fire you wouldn't want to mess around with. Fine! I mean, since she has tamed him this much, that even makes my chances greater. I mean, by the way, ah, look, I'm even falling down, so. By the way, what does this BB have that I don't have? A lot, my dear! A lot! You have nothing like her. She smokes everything. Cocaine, hair, what have you? She dresses anyhow. Attends the biggest and wildest parties in town. And above all, gives and trends the fun of his life. And I even hear he calls out his fire. And I bet you, girl, you can't cope with such demand. You got to do that for him! Zainab, I love him. Isn't that enough fire to start with? Don't you think? God knows I've warned you. Are you going away? I'm eating your biscuits, so. Going down, the 
all around. 